explain the social media, the Steve Carlton thing. That's the Steve Carlton the, story. Steve, the you and I don't like preening on social media, which a lot of people do. Like a lot of people like const, constant self congratulations on social media. Yeah, yeah. And you and I are not fans of it. And you say it's because Al Franken and Conan used to just like well, Al Franken hobble you. It's so weird that people what? get in. People get in so much trouble now for being for bussing balls, but yeah. Thank God these motherfuckers were just mean and condescending to me. <laughs> and it was like Conan, Conan, and Smigel. Actually, Odin Kirk was really nice. I mean, by the way, Conan and those guys. They right, they're not they're, like you. Fucking, they, yeah, weren't, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't fucking deliverancing. They me. weren't deliverancing me. They're just like <laughs> you know, putting me in my place at the time. Uh, but one of the great stories that helped my career out was uh, Al Franken pulls me to the side because I had had a really good show, uh, the Michael Jordan show. I mean, Michael Jordan when he hosted Saturday when Live. he hosted SNL. So Michael Jordan with musical guest Public Enemy. The, uh, oh my God, what a show! It was the season premiere in 1991. Anyway, and I had a really good show, and then the next week I had a bad show. And one of the reasons I had a bad show is because I was, again, it's the same thing about tell, being really funny, getting too cocky, and trying to find that place again. But uh, Al Franken told me this story about uh, this pitcher, Steve Carlton. Probably the best left-handed pitcher in the history of baseball. A second, Randy Johnson would be number one, Steve Carlton number two, right? Uh, so Steve Carlton would only pitch if this guy, Tim McCarver, would catch him. That was the deal. If Carlton pitches, McCarver catches him. So, you know, the game isn't just physical. The game's mental baseball, right? And they found that some hitters, if they let them get a hit early in the game, mm. they wouldn't try as hard later in the game. So there were certain guys they would let get on base. It's like, just throw this guy an easy fastball, let him get on base, and we don't got to worry about that guy later. He's so selfish. He's just going to be like, I got mine. Whatever happens, happens. And Franken's like, that's what happened with you. You got yours at the Michael Jordan show, and then next week you're just too cocky and relaxed, and you got to have that hunger every night. So Al Franken kind of saved my life. Wow! So yeah. I, go, I go hard. <laughs> yeah, that's and why, you that's what try. I I no, go and hard. the thing that I like about you is you try. Yeah. Like you, during, during the press, you were saying that you had like mirror. You told me you had a mirror and microphone stand set up in your house for years before Bring the Pain, which is like that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, that you were actually practicing. <laughs> I practice all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's uh, not like easy or fluid or yeah. Wait, I have an SNL question. If you Why? stay in shape, you don't have to get in shape. Oh, well, hello. Thank Flo you. Floyd, <laughs> Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, baby. How you feeling? 